One of the first steps to take when investing in Singapore stocks is opening a direct securities account with the Central Depository, or CDP. It's where stocks and bonds purchased by investors are cleared, settled and safeguarded. CDP is a, an account which basically is like your bank account but it holds all your securities. It helps you to keep track of your assets. It's a subsidiary of stock exchange, so you know, if, from a financial risk perspective, it definitely uh, gives you a peace of mind. There are currently 1.4 million CDP accounts on the Singapore Exchange, or the SGX. The past year has seen significant upticks in sign-up, as the CDP account is required to buy bonds and treasury bills, which have benefited from rising interest rates. What's interesting is that the majority of new accounts that we've seen open in the past 12 months are getting younger, especially those in the mid-20s to 30s age range, and there are also more females, which is heartening given that share investing has traditionally been, you know, male-dominated. With a CDP account, investors can buy SGX-listed securities such as stocks, real estate investment trusts or REITs, exchange-traded funds, depository receipts, as well as government-issued Singapore savings bonds and treasury bills. What you need is so long as you're at least 18 years old and not an undischarged bankrupt, as well as a Singapore bank account which will be used to credit your cash distributions such as the dividend distributions that you receive. So to open a CDP account, you can do so in a few ways. One is via your broker, or second on the SGX Investor Portal, or third through the SGX mobile app. It takes only about five minutes to complete the application online via SingPass and the account will be open in approximately five business days. You can view and manage all your holdings in one place on a single dashboard. It's split by products, by sectors to help you assess how diversified your portfolio is. You can also make certain corporate actions directly on the investor portal. Investors have the choice between a CDP account and a custodian account. A custodian account is one where the brokerage holds on to the stocks for you. If I buy a, a stock or ETF or even a bond listed on the SGX, uh, it will be uh, in my name uh, if I use a CDP link broker account. But if I use a custodian account, uh, those securities that I buy uh, on the SGX uh, will be custodized at the stockbroking or wealth platforms uh, site. So that will be the difference. You can choose between two and you don't have to have a CDP account to get started. You can open just a custodian account to get started in SGX uh, trading. When you have direct ownership of the stock under the CDP, you can choose different brokerage firms to do your trades. You get invites for annual general meetings or AGMs. You have voting rights. You get notices on earnings, company announcements and corporate actions and your stocks are safe should the brokerage firm go bankrupt. Under the custodian account, you're not the shareholder of your investments. You may be able to attend the AGMs through the custodian, but have no rights to vote. Another key difference is that custodian accounts allow you to trade both local and overseas stocks. The CDP account is only for SGX listed securities, it's also something you need to have before you can invest in Singapore savings, bonds and T-bills. There are also differences in fees, with CDP accounts generally charging higher fees. The benefits may be that you get cheaper custodial fees, especially if you, in the long run, become an active client or active trader of that brokerage. Um, but if you are not, then it may not necessarily be cheaper. So you have to look at your requirements, right? If you are an infrequent investor, uh, a CDP account to me works better. And potentially you can also part take part in you know, the securities lending program which uh, Stock Exchange has or CDP has as well, uh, which um, you know, maybe a custodian would not be able to provide you. A custodian account would really be like an investment account that you know, covers everything and provides the tools. A CDP account would have certain tools as well, uh, but it's uh, ultimately a tool to just have a certain uh, uh, overview of your SGX uh, securities, but not so much for active uh, you know, trading or rebalancing. I think for uh, the fees, if you're looking at CDP only or CDP link fees only, 
uh, there are not a lot of uh, differences, I would say, uh, between a broker account that is linked to the CDP and a custodian account uh, that has, let's say, a CDP sub uh, account uh, concept. Uh, the crucial difference in terms of the fees would be just the commission fees, typically. And uh, uh, the commission fees will vary across all the different platforms and brokers. For young investors, the general advice is not to rush into things, to start small, start safe, and make sure their investment foundations are good. Opening a CDP account is definitely one of the first few steps that you take towards your investing journey, but do note that it shouldn't be the last. 